Get funded with Traders Central to kickstart your trading career and make the profit that you deserve. And you will get access to Trading View, my FX book, and many more. And enjoy Traders Central ecosystem and so much more on their marketplace. Link in my description. Uh, check the link, then you will start to enjoy more of the funding. Thanks. Good day, uh, this is Kenzo, Extra Hot Forex, as you already know. So you reached a level where maybe all of you, you were just hoping to reach. Uh, and I'm happy, I'm happy that uh, we reached this level. It means you guys are serious. So as we start uh, here, I'm going to do things in a very, very simple, straightforward, in a new way. Uh, this is going to be like quite simple i'm going to drop this video and no, not only this one then you go watch the video then when we meet then we already have something that we can talk about and something maybe that maybe where you don't understand where you feel like you had some issues at least i'm going to help you with that so that we can just grow together i'm not going to go live and start to teach you things rather send you the video watch the video when we go live now you know what we're going to talk about you're not going to be surprised with different topics so if you just listen to these things that i'm going to say here i'm still going to send this as a document so this they're going to help you they going to help you so uh, without wasting your time guys i hope you understood whatever that i'm trying to say i repeat again i'm going to send the video first then when we meet, I'm, I think I'm going to change the time frames, whatever that we were meeting, so that we can just make sure we grab so many things at first. Because taking the whole, I think now it's December, we are taking the whole uh, 20 days doing one thing. Sometimes it's just a delay because we skip other days. So now I'm not going to skip so many days. I'm just going to make sure that uh, I kill this thing so that everyone is sorted out, you see. So for you to learn whatever that I'm going to teach you, it's a matter of maybe a week or two weeks. But for you to master this, you can just go repeat this. It doesn't matter how long. You can just repeat whatever that uh, I'm going to teach you. I'm making sure I'm going to make sure that every two days or if every day I'm going to update you with the video that when we meet, uh, I will update you where, how we're going to meet when we meet. It's where, it's where, it's where we're going to talk about things that I already sent to you. I hope you understand that. If you did not, please rewind and listen to that again. So here I just open my uh, my screen. Uh, don't uh, It doesn't matter. I'm not going to talk about NASDAQ at, at the moment. So, but I'm just going to teach you uh, something that maybe you never had before. You see so what is going to happen here is why this thing is not opening uh, why this thing let me just refresh this oh sorry sorry I turned off my data so what I'm going to talk about here now I'm going to talk about time frame time frame write that down because it's something that you're going to work with every day uh, it's difficult sometimes to figure out which time frame you can use. So I wanted to write time frame here. Uh, time frame. Uh, if if you miss, if maybe when they teach you about uh, forex, and if you missed this part, if you missed this part, uh, most likely uh, you're going to get lost uh, in the market why because people they will be like running around trying to find the right time frame you see so i hope you can see that yeah now the topic is time frame for now we're talking about time frame uh, before we go on the other things so on this on this on this uh, course actually we're going to do the from up you see here we will start from the bigger time frame going lower it doesn't matter whether you're starting with a weekly or monthly as long as you start from the bigger time frame and go into a bit smaller time frame 
That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Start from a bigger time frame, go into a bit smaller time frame. I hope you understand that. It's quite simple. So what do you get from a bigger time frame going to a smaller time frame? So this is going to uh, explain so many things when we go to a bigger, a, a bigger time frame. A bigger time frame, a bigger time frame actually explains your uh, the, the trend that you are in and the support and whatever that I'm going to tell you, uh, obviously. So I'm just going to just go straight to whatever that I'm going to tell you. Then slowly you're going to connect, we're going to connect whatever that we're going to start with at the moment, right? So as time frame is very, very important, guys, if you missed this, uh, this topic, mostly that's why I wanted to start with, because so many people, they struggle uh, finding the right time frame. So there is no there is no right time frame to use. You can use one hour, you can use 15 minutes time frame, you can use daily, but the best thing is uh, we go into use the bigger time frames to determine whether the market is going up or down, whether the market is ranging or not. Uh, the entries, usually the entries we, we follow, we use like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, five minutes time frame for entries, right? I'm not talking about placing the order at the moment. I'm just telling you about the, 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 the time frame. So for our time frame, daily time frame and weekly time frame, this they identify or they determine which or where the market is going, whether this thing is uptrending, uh, the support levels, uh, the supply and demand, uh where the market is actually uh, going to turn or something like that you see even the trends you see so this bigger time frame we use them for that we don't enter we don't take any entry from four hour time frame daily or weekly or going higher like monthly monthly is there but i don't really use monthly i don't feel like that is important to me as i'm a, a daily trader uh i mean i'm a retail trader so mostly i focus on four hour uh, going to one hour two hours something like that you see so then what do we use i like using two hour why because two hour time frame is between the bigger time frame and the smaller time frame what do i see there i see the bigger structure combined with the smaller structure so that is giving me the right size especially i confirm that with the trends that I'm, I'm going to draw the ones that i'm going to teach you i'm going to show you how why i say they matter on two hour time frame you see so daily time frame is there just to confirm uh, to see like very very close i can easily enter uh, take my entries on on a one hour time frame i can easily take my trades on a daily i'm uh, sorry on a 30 minutes time frame or 15 or even five minutes it doesn't matter as long as it's one hour going lower now you understand the, uh, the, the, the time frames time frame the bigger time frames shows us where is the market going it's like on the road let me show you this it's like on the road time frame is like the road uh, if this route let's say is something like this i want you to understand this if you are here let's say maybe this thing is going south you see let's say it's heading south but it started from let's say it's what it's it's west it's south here so if you are here if you are here actually you are already on the road right you are already on the road you can't see exactly what this thing you will just see where the market is going for now you can't even see here you see this is a bit smaller time frame because you are on the route but if you stand here which is a bigger time frame you're going to see the bigger picture from your view but this view here you're just going to see around only this portion you might think that the market is going up or the route is going up to find out that the road is actually curving after that is going lower. This is how we're going to use the time frames. They 
help us to show us the direction from a bigger time frame so when we go to a bit smaller time frame we done we know that okay the market is going up we just going to look for a position i mean where the market is going to reject or give us a higher low where we need to buy already actually a bigger time frame is a secret i can't say it's a secret but it's a time frame which is going to give us the direction so when we go to a bit smaller time frame we no longer ask ourselves whether this is going to be a seller or buy we go with the same mindset that okay this is going to be what a buy we go in there for buy we're looking for buy why because a bigger time frame is showing us that the market is going to uh, to give us a buy so let me try to show you what i say when i say a bigger time frame so let me just use a daily uh, as we are a day traders look at this uh, we are here so when we say a daily time frame if you are here you will see that okay i'm i'm going to talk about this portion here it's a bigger time frame every candlestick it's a day every candlestick it's a day right so what is going to happen is you are here already you see that okay you see that okay the market is actually pushing up but but if you were so close this is a day is, is remember this is a daily uh, time frame if you work very close like here you were going to think maybe the market is about to sell and to find out that once you sell the market is going to push up that this is helping us to see the bigger picture so when you are on a bigger time frame you see that okay we are on an uptrend i'm just going to look for what for a buy position so from a buy position it's where we're going to say apply the other strategies that i'm going to share with you to say okay when i'm close it means i'm just going to wait for a higher high so a higher low a higher low i'm going to explain the higher lows don't 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 panic i'm going to explain the higher lows right so this is how we use the time frame remember we use a bigger time frame to, to, to determine the market direction then from there we go from a, a bigger time frame to a bit smaller time frame on a bit smaller time frame it's where we look for entries I hope you understand that so combining this with whatever the trends line the strategies that I'm going to uh, share with you here is going to make our job very very simple very sorry not simple so very simple sorry so from a bigger time frame we're going to get these areas these areas here the the highs the lows uh, the support the it's actually this is going to determine our trend line it's going to be easy for us to draw the trend lines not like we know like but when you see that the market is going up like this you already know that okay actually i just have to connect the higher lows you understand something like that something like that i hope you understand that so this is the points that they go into matter but they matter when you already understand the time frame is it a bigger time frame yes why you say it's going up because on a bigger time frame i saw that the market is going up i saw that the market is going down on a bigger time frame we don't determine the direction on a bigger on, on a bit smaller time frame you see we don't say the market is downtrending when we are on a 15 minutes time frame we don't do that do you do you understand what i'm trying to say here so we don't determine the the, the, the trends or or the direction on a bit smaller time frame one hour going lower doesn't determine that we start from a bigger time frame and we see okay the market is going there it's like a route when you are on the mountain you can see where the let's say maybe here it's a mountain this is a mountain and when you are here you see that okay when i'm on a mountain you can see from this area that okay this thing is going down but after it goes up but if you are very close you won't see that you won't see that you see that's why you end up being wrong but at the same time you know how to analyze because maybe you don't really understand the bigger time frame and the smaller time frames how they join each other how they they relate to each other you see so 
from this video it's fine uh, i'm going to communicate with you like how sorry try to let me know in the group from now on if you watch the video let me know how you understand the trends where you don't understand where you because i'm going to send another video tomorrow so where you don't understand i'm still going to communicate with you like that we can also meet on zoom as usual as usual so to understand the points or i mean the, the, the what we're dealing with the time frames and stuff like that you see so from there it's how we're going to work i'm going to share these things with you guys non-stop so i'm not going to record you the live we can record live video but when we go live you're not just going to go, go there and listen to me you go in you're going to go like on live knowing whether you have some questions whether you know you don't you did not understand the trend uh, the, the the time frame how they relate to each other you, maybe you don't understand how to draw the trends line that's how we're supposed to do things i think uh, i'm not going to teach you like teach you and you just waste your time like that it's better to watch whatever that you go into study with then when you, you go there at least you can able to communicate because you already have something that I'm going to talk, uh, to talk about. Uh, thanks, guys. I don't want to make this video very long. Then from there, I'm going to add another video tomorrow. Continuous from whatever that I have taught you here. But it's going to be another topic. Which is going to make sure that your strategy is solid. We start from the time frame. Thank you, guys. This is Kenzo. This is Kenzo. As always, please study the video, re 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 watch the video nonstop until you understand what is what, what I'm to, what, what I'm talking about. If you don't understand, it means you have a notebook where you're supposed to write those questions and you bring them to me. When we go live, you ask them. Even if we don't go live, ask those questions. I will still answer them. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you here. Uh, thanks.